go again. Part six. Jib the Vampire Bar Girl. Hopefully you've been following along. A quick recap. Jib, Thai girl, daughter Pla, husband Peter, UK, married in a house in England. Jib has now learnt English at college and now she's fallen in with a bad crowd at a little Thai cafe, restaurant, supermarket and brothel upstairs rooms, short time rooms. She's working in the evenings in this cafe, selling her body to people going upstairs. Husband's none the wiser. She's bringing enough money in, loads of money, but she, little, he thinks, paying for the family food. She's had a trip to France with the girls, just selling her body again and partying. Then she took a trip to Thailand for a week, fell out with Peter, big arguments, put her foot down, I'm going to Thailand. She's gone, she's freelance with the tribe, the tribe of girls, for the whole week. At the end, she's bought Thai gold, about 10 pieces, 10 baht of gold. She doesn't know why, this is what all the girls have done. And this is where we pick it up. They fly back, fly back to the UK. The main tribe leader, who, these, the girls in the tribe are all sort of 35 upwards to 40, 42, but the main leader, right, the book comes out, how many pieces of gold each, Jib gives 10, and this at the time was about 300 pound for one bat of gold, so um, it's about 3,000, it's like 4,000 US dollars worth of gold. Jib still doesn't know what this is all about, the gold, she's just got all this, but she's making loads of money, so it's nothing. She's sending money back home, um, to somebody in her village who's then putting it in her bank in Thailand. Never found out who she sent it, someone's working for her in Thailand. A sister maybe, a friend, maybe it's the family. But she's sending Western Union money back, all their spare money to Thailand. And someone over there is getting a little bit of a kickback and putting the money in her bank in Thailand. Never got to the bottom of where it's going over there and who's doing that end. Hmm. Anyway, this is spare money. She bought the gold, hands it to the main girl. What's happening? Well, this is a, a tax-free little scam going on in the UK by the looks of it that I didn't realise happened. The girls, through social media, through Facebook and all the social media outlets, are selling the gold in the UK. Why is the gold significant? To a Thai girl, life is all about today because tomorrow might not come. A Thai girl would prefer a bracelet, a one baht of gold bracelet worth three, four hundred pounds on her arm or stashed in her room than she would have money in the bank. It's solid, she can just sell it at the touch of a button or she can go to a shop, thumbprint, in the old days thumbprint, but now just swap it for money then buy it back later like a pawn shop gold is king there is many many Thai girls in the UK married to foreigners and they love having gold but they can't get it it's in Thailand unless they do a trip to Thailand they've got spare money lots of them and sent money home but still have spare money so if they can buy Thai gold in the UK then they can put it on their arms, put it in the safe, stash it. It's what they want. So through social media, these the tribe, they're selling the gold to Thai girls in the UK, where the Thai girls pay weekly. Once they've paid the amount, and the price has gone up, they've put the price up at the start. Once they've paid the amount, and a, let's say, a hundred pound for the privilege, then they get the gold sent to them with the proper certificates from Thailand. It's all above board. So they're getting Thai gold, sending money each week to the tribe. Gold turns up by post. Everyone's happy. The tribe over the period is making money, but it's trickling it out. But the, the one woman in the tribe, she's keeping some of the money for her doing all this. But 
let's say Jim invested £3,000, she's got coming back £3,500. She's paid for the flight to Thailand and all that fun. Hmm, it's more fun, it's more happening, it's, it's excitement. And Jib hands the gold over. A couple of months later, she gets her money back and more. She can't believe it. Next trip, again, back to Peter. They're up and down their marriage. The girls are off to Germany. The visa she got the Svengen is, I think, a six month one, so it's still in operation, still valid. Back to Peter. I'm off to Germany for the weekend. Oh, more, more, more arguments. This time he's had enough. He said, no, this has got to stop. We can't do this. What, what is going on? This is just not good. Um, and we're moving on. This is like a year and a half, coming on two years. This continues with the tribe for the foreseeable future. A couple of years, every time she just puts her foot down and Pete says, no, enough. I just can't keep doing it. Comes to the day. So at this point, Jib is, let me get my dates right here, because you'll be all over me if I get them wrong. <laughs> so Peter's 39. Um, so he was 33, she was 18, well, I thought it was 20, but she was 18 when they met. So he worked the maths out. Anyway, he's 39 and uh, she's 24, I think now. Big argument. The girls all want to go off on another trip, uh, this time to Belgium. And he says, no, put my foot down. That's it, enough. Jib turns around to him and says, fine, no problem at all. And the daughter, Pla, I mean, she's what, six, seven years old now, growing. Jib turns around to Peter and says, fine. Walks off upstairs, packs two bags, comes back down and says, I'm leaving you, we're finished. Marriage is over, I'm going. You can keep Pla and walked out the door. This is a true fact. Exactly what happened. You can keep Pla, walked out the door. Peter was devastated. He's chasing off down the road after her and she's like, no, I want my free life back now. I've had enough of the marriage. I haven't got time for all this. I've got my own life now. It's over. And walks off down the road, devastated. And he has to tell his parents, she's just gone. He's fine with Pla, looking after Pla, you know, but devastated, she's just gone. Straight down to the cafe, gets one of the rooms, shares with another girl. Mm. So six years in to the partnership, it's over. Just like that. Over the following months, she goes back to his house a couple of times to see Pla, but Pla's pulling away from her. She's not interested. She, her mum's disappeared and she comes back. Peter's getting to the stage he's now wants to get the lawyers involved and sort out visiting and things. He tells Jib what he's going to do. She's like, whatever. Doesn't care. Walks off back and the tribe are just every weekend now all week they're working day and night weekends they're off to Europe they're off to Thailand every month for sort of three four days sometimes longer it's like an oil well oil money machine constant money making all the way along the line Peter 40th has it with his parents and Pla. Pla's coming up for eight years old, seven, seven and a half. He gets the lawyers involved and calls uh, Jib, telephone, come to the house, got documents to sign, and we need to sort out a divorce and everything else. Okay, Jib comes to the house, 
Pilar pulls away, doesn't want to talk to her, runs off into another room. Peter says, right, we need to go to the courts to get visiting rights if you want to see your daughter. She says, Jim turns around and says, I don't want to see her, I'm not fussed. He says, okay, I want a divorce. And throws some papers at her. Her English is brilliant, she's reading and writing, she looks at it. Divorce offers her nothing. She said, you have house, I want half everything for divorce. And he said, no, no, you've never paid any money into the house. You don't take care of your daughter. I have to do everything. You have to pay me money, what's called maintenance in the UK, for looking after our daughter. Ah, oh, Chip just rips the paperwork, throws it. I'm not divorcing you. And walks out the door. Just gone, doesn't care. She's got another plan. The vampire queen to be. She's got some plans. So, at this time, Jib is um, 25 coming on 26. So she's still attractive, still young. She's making lots of money, selling her body day, night, trips to Europe, partying, selling her body, trips to Thailand, buying gold, selling gold. It's just constant money and she's making a couple of thousand dollars a week upwards with the tribe she's become part of the tribe and these tribes are everywhere in the world apparently everywhere that one tribe will go to another city and they'll swap cafes and customers and they're all over everywhere a little well-oiled organization i never knew about it wow so 26 years old, Jib, English is great, she's got the visa for life in England, doesn't matter, doesn't need a passport. It's a pain going to Europe getting Svengen visas, but it's just paperwork, it's easy. She just keeps renewing them. Yeah, and she goes on. Another year, Peter's on with the lawyers again. She's now an absent parent. She can only have three years absent, then he can force divorce. But... He tries again with it, she's not interested. She says she wants half of everything. She, as an absent parent, he presses through the system and she is forced to pay maintenance for Pla as the absent parent. She has to. The organization get hold of her because she's got an address in the um, cafe. Peter still doesn't know what she's doing, but she's got an address there. She has to pay and she has to show salaries and all this but she's got a proper through the cafe they're giving her x amount of pounds all above board so she figures out maintenance and she's paying him something like 60 pound a week for maintenance supply even though she's not seeing her peter presses on for the divorce she's not interested he could force a divorce but there's a chance she could get half of everything not looking good for Peter, not looking good. Jib doesn't care, doesn't care about her daughter. Bit of money for the daughter, okay. It's pennies for her. She's having a whale of a time with the tribe. They're going all over the place. Ah, oh dear. She's turning to the dark side. <clears throat> She's learning the ways of extracting blood out of a stone, blood out of humans money off people she's learning ways of making more it's she's becoming a money machine yeah she's get, beginning to get a little bit bored of not having a partner it's time for her to have a new partner and that's where we're going to leave it today yeah the training is ongoing. <clears throat> is there more to learn? What's she going to do next? Is there a twist coming up? Maybe. I'll see you next time, guys. Hope you're enjoying it. Bye.